today we're going to be replacing the factory radio in this uh, 2008 Jeep Liberty with this uh, touchscreen uh, Apple CarPlay Boss uh, system. Got it from Crutchfield along with a wiring harness, pre-wired for you, and a dash kit. Um, I think you're going to have to maybe put a couple things on the side for it. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Uh, but first, let's disconnect the battery. And I think this is a 3 8 Maybe metric. Not sure if this is an OEM battery cable or not. We're going to take the negative side off. And just set it out of the way. What we're going to do is start prying up from behind this. Pulled on both sides of it and all came out. Now, uh, there's some electrical connections that we can undo right there and just get this panel out of the way. So let's do that now. So now with the key and the ignition in the run position, if we uh, push down on the button here, uh, we can get it shifted into neutral or even drive and then uh, be able to get this off. My parking brake not working great, so I'm not going to be able to leave it in neutral. Now with these wires disconnected, I've got the bezel off. Um, you can see these wires are where I had installed this uh, USB port. And those just attached to those two posts, so they just slip off. You got the uh, white wire on the right, which is positive, and the black wire uh, on the left. Or actually, they're set up that they're set up the right way right now. Very dirty. My son keeps the car. Uh, anyway, let's pull the radio out. It's going to be these four screws here. So I'm going to start uh, taking these Phillips head screws out. Put those out. We should be able to slide the radio out. And I got the antenna and the wiring harness to disconnect. Should be simple enough. This looks like you've got to lift this red clip up. I'm going to use a little pick for that. See if I can get around to the other side too. Need two hands again. With the red clip off, this just pulls right out. This is the new radio. And uh, we've got a wiring harness to be able to hook it up. Uh, it's got a lot of features here in the back. Um, you got a place for a microphone. Um, we're not going to be using the front camera or the, uh, this is probably the rear camera. And then these are uh, Apple CarPlay audio uh, inputs um, and a USB charger. So we'll... We'll probably extend these around, um, probably through the bottom here. And uh, the microphone, I don't know if I'm going to hook that up yet or not. We'll see. So doing a little mock-up here, you can see that is not going to fit very well. Let's see what's come with our uh, frame kit. Okay, so with the radio, there are some screws supplied that will attach the uh, plastic mounting back to the radio. And then there are screws supplied with the dash kit that will attach the edge to the dash kit right there. So I'm going to go ahead and install these edges. I believe I know which one to install. And then we'll see how it fits. So far, I think that's correct. And I've got this side on. It just is not fitting flush. Uh, you can see it's slanted here because this protrudes out. I don't know if I'm supposed to remove this or not. I doubt it, but I don't really know. So I'm gonna keep going, put the other side on and just see how it fits. Okay, so the problem is it doesn't fit through the bezel. So I'm gonna have to sit here and figure this out. Okay, so that was stupid. This is a trim ring that's pre-installed. It needs to come off. Let me get that off. Okay, important uh, note. Um, the trim ring pops off. All these screws are for the screen itself. We gotta put them all back in. 
you don't need any screws for the trim ring. Whoops. So there you go. Fits perfectly that way. So this was the letter B um, short nose, I think, uh, side trim. And uh, I guess the next thing I need to figure out is how to hook everything up in the back. So let's do that next. So what I was able to do is route the microphone down through here. It comes out the back here. And then I'll probably be able to push this wire back behind the trim and maybe mount it right here. Should be a good place for the hands-free microphone. So next I'll probably bring the Apple CarPlay out through about here or something and the uh, USB port. Just to show you the route, the wires are going, went down the side and that comes out right here. And then you can just pull that under this dash trim. And there you've got it right there labeled Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna do the same with uh, this cable that's just a USB charger and then uh, we should be good to go to install a uh, radio antenna. I think there's a, I think there's a uh, connection I need to put in there too. This is the extension for the antenna for the radio. So I think that goes in here and then our uh, radio antenna cable will plug into here. And uh, I'm gonna use two hands to get that in, but I think that's essentially it to get this piece back off of the other radio. Uh, put that back in and we're gonna put that red clip back on. There you go, everything's back on, connected. Now I'm ready to put the radio in, so let's give it a shot. Well, we're almost done. One more bit of troubleshooting. This bottom part doesn't wanna go in and I don't know why. Um, obviously it's hung up on something, so I need to check and see what that is. I really just needed to start it from the bottom first. Okay, so. It's just a little bit of a, a lift there where the stereo is. Um, and I suppose that's not that big of a deal. Um, but it's just a little bit of a reveal that's not covered up. And I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Um, you know, maybe you take a piece of this trim panel and cut it out and stick it in. I don't know. But, uh, I think this is probably good enough for us for net right now. Let's turn the car on, uh, put the battery, reconnect the battery, and then uh, we will see how it works. Okay. How to outsmart ourselves. This seems to work great. All right, we'll keep fooling around with it, uh, do all the setup, but hope that was instructional for you. Um, if anyone knows about how to work on this, uh, that would be appreciated. And uh, otherwise, very pleased with it. Looks great.